young man in our community mm -hmm. since last night at about 1900 hours. Unfortunately, today we located him deceased about the noon hour uh, in a pond not far from his residence. Uh, on behalf of the sheriff's office and their investigation, they deem no foul play at this time. And it's an unfortunate accident. Uh, we'd like to thank the many partners that we have in this coordinated effort to locate uh, this young man and bring some closure to his parents and his family and thank the many partners from the surrounding counties and the state um, assets uh, that come to help and benefit in the ground search, the air search, and the many facets of this investigation and search for this young man. Really quickly, can you spell your first and last name and state your title? Yes. Jason Revis, J-A-S-O-N-R-E-A-V-I-S, -A -A uh, Wilkes County Emergency Services Director and Emergency Management Coordinator. Talk to us, when did the search start? Uh, he was known missing at about 6.45 last night. Um, sheriff's office arrived on scene shortly thereafter, and I think the ground search was initiated uh, between 8.30 and 9 o'clock last night. Um, at, how long had he been missing at that point, according to the family? I think it was, they did a personal search for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then called 911. So um, when we were notified, probably 30. 40 minutes at that time. Uh, I know the uh, unfortunate news of his passing um, is just coming in, but is there any sense about a cause of death at this point? Not at this time. Um, it's still, that piece of the, is still being investigated and obviously there'll be an autopsy due to the type of death being, due to the search mechanism and of his age. Um, with, with the search coming to a close, I'm not sure if you have this off the top of your head about how many personnel um, ultimately participated in this search. Yeah, somewhere between 100 and 150 uh, personnel and assets were here over the last 12 to 16 hours. And then can you get a, a range as far as how many agencies participated? Probably in the ballpark of 25 to 30 different agencies were here um, from that's probably local assets in the sur our county and the surrounding counties. And then we had probably another 10 to 15 uh, state assets here as well. Um, it, it's know that he was found in a pond. Um, you said near, not too far from his home. Is there any, are we talking a mile, several miles? No, it's probably less than a quarter mile. And it's just a uh, very small, farm type pond. And then also, did the family cooperate with this? 100%. Yes, they were very beneficial in helping us and the community and the citizens helped us as well and wanted to be very proactive to help the family come to this closure as well. Did we have any indication of this time of how he went missing? Did he, I mean, did he just happen to slip out the house or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Not 100% sure. Um, that's still the sheriff's office talking with the family and finalizing those things. Absolutely. And um, finally, were there any prior incidents with this child? Any other attempts to leave the home or any other missing type calls? No, not that we've ever been alerted to. The family denied that before, so this was the first incident with this child. And of course, this is my last question as well. Dealing with a situation like this where there's not necessarily a positive outcome, what's something that you want the family and then also the community to hear? We want them to know and to feel like we were here in a positive way to support and come to a positive outcome. And even though we did not, we want to know that we brought closure and that they are in our thoughts and our prayers and we want to support them to the best of our ability.